Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today on the channel we're going to be doing another gluten-free recipe and I think it's going to be Mm, yes, it's a gluten-free bacon quiche. This is an all-time favourite of mine. Even using gluten-free pastry, it does taste the same as ordinary pastry, really. It's just that once you've got the other ingredients onto it, you can't tell the difference. Please subscribe and please share. And don't forget, guys, your recipe is below the video in the description. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. <laughs> And for the pastry recipe, you want 200 grams of multi-purpose gluten-free flour, a pinch of salt, 100 grams of softened butter, and three tablespoonfuls of water. Right, you wanna pop your flour into the bowl. Now sieve this first. Flour always seems to be very gritty. it. Add your butter and water in. Pinch of salt. And we'll pop the beater on. We'll start this on first speed. Just let your butter blend with your flour. That makes a nice pastry. Well, that's your pastry ready, guys. And with this pastry, there is no need to rest. It's because it's got no gluten in it, you can use it practically straight away. And that's just right, guys. Now what we'll do is spray up our tins and now we're ready to start rolling the pastry out. Right guys, just give your tin a spray. Bit of flour on the table. Now we're gonna roll this out to fit the tin. It wants to be around about three millimetres to four millimetres thick, give or take. Oops. We're almost there now. Now get your knife under it. That's it. Yeah, and your tin fits well. Now we're, all we're going to do is roll the pastry up onto the rolling pin. And now we're going to roll it over the top of the tin. Be careful. And now what we're going to do is start pushing it out to the sides of the tin. Gently does it. So you just get them into the corners. Don't worry about the edge bits too much. Some people just leave them on, but I prefer to take mine off. Right then guys, what we're gonna do next is get your knife and we're gonna take off all the edges. So it makes it nice and clean. Now we're going to get our docker like that and dock the base and just dock it. Now, what I'm going to do is pop that piece of paper on, it's baking paper, and these are baking ceramic beans. I'm 
And that's it. And we'll just pop that into the oven. Well, guys, we'll pop that into the oven for around about 15 minutes. And the temperature of the oven is around about 150 Celsius. And now your base is ready. Now what we're going to do is take out the oven and let it cool down for 15 to 20 minutes. And then you can remove your baking beans and put them back in the container. And then you're ready to make up your filling. And for the filling, you want 225 grams of streaky bacon. You want four eggs or 127 grams of eggs salt and some pepper. You also want 250 grams of cream. That's single cream, by the way. And 125 grams of cheese. And now for the quiche filling, we'll pop the eggs in. And the cream. And a pinch of salt. Now we want to whisk that up so it actually gets nice and tight. And then we add in the cheese. And give that a good whisk in with the cheese. And that's it guys. And now we're ready for filling. First guys, we lay our bacon on the base of the pastry. And what you want to do guys is make sure you spread it well out. And sort of push it into the base. And now we'll get our egg and our cheese and we'll spread this on the top. Gently, if you can, try and do it on a really flat, level surface. Right, and now we're ready for the oven. Pop it into the middle oven. Now you want to be baking this at 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for around about 30 to 40 minutes. And halfway through, guys, turn your quiche round so you can bake the other side because most electric ovens have a mind of their own and they cook one side or the other. And there's your quiche. And it's as simple as that, guys, wasn't it? Yes, it is a very simple recipe from start to finish. I am actually starting another playlist of gluten-free products. So in that playlist, we're going to have bread, other pastries, cakes, you name it. As I sort of start making them and doing them, I've got quite a few that I'm actually doing at the moment and quite a few basically muck-ups, I call it, because basically sometimes with gluten-free, it doesn't quite come out how it should do. So I've got to go back to the drawing board on that. Please subscribe and please share. And don't forget guys, check out the description below for your recipe and other links to playlists and also to my Facebook page at The Traditional Bakery. Anyway, see you again very shortly. Laters.